from the 
bondage of Pharaoh because of the Passover lamb that was slain. And we apply the blood unto victory in Jesus' mighty name. And those in agreement said, scripture you see somebody getting ready to go through a major threat, you'll see bread and wine present. Even if it's Gideon threshing wheat, what do you make wheat? Makes bread, right? And where was he at? He was at a wine press, bread and wine. Wow. And then God raised him up as a deliverer. Communion will sustain you through your next test. Jesus took communion and then had to go to the cross, didn't he? Do you see the patterns in scripture? Bread and wine, bread and wine, bread and wine, bread and wine. Wheat, not a wine press. Bread and wine. It's throughout the scriptures. It starts in Genesis. Joseph, a baker and a butler. What's a baker make? Bread. What's the butler serve when he puts the wine cup up to the king's bread and wine or present? Joseph, spiritually, metaphorically, symbolically, had communion when he interpreted the baker and the butler's dream. It's not by accident. Bread and wine. And remember this. It's not who serves the bread and wine to you that makes it holy or unholy. It's who you look at when you take the bread and wine. And he says, be ye holy for I am holy. It's about you and him. It's not about who serves the elements. It's about who partakes of them and who they're focusing on. Who has amen our report? That's who the arm of the Lord is revealed to. So we proclaim every sickness broken. 
over our lives. We break every demonic stronghold by the word of God. We proclaim the blood of the Lamb that washes us free from our sin. We proclaim the name of the Lord Jesus Christ into our livers and into our lungs and into our eyes. We just break the power of insomnia. Sleepless nights be gone. We break the power of the tormentor that would allow you to go free for a season and then come back upon you to cause you to stumble back into that thing. We break its power because it can no longer rest upon because the blood of the lamb is on the doorpost and the lintels of our spiritual house because we are the temple of the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God dwells in us. Israel Albright, Africa.